structured appraisals. So sit down, grab some popcorn, maybe a Coke, join in the conversation. All right, so appraisals might be uh, the most important of most part part of a deal that involves financing. Uh, so j just wanted to give you a little more detail on that, kind of how that works, some things to be thinking about. Um, so when we think about appraisals, it's really finding out at least what the bank's value of opinion is. Um, and, and that is the case. The appraiser is working for the lender. Um, they're really not, not working for, for anyone else. Um, so that appraiser's job is to find the value of the home based on features of the home that they have data on that says people pay more for this feature. So whether that's hardwood floors or, or granite or quality construction, um, just, just those types of things. Uh, that they can see people pay more for for these list of of items for these improvements and kind of some interesting info uh, from an appraiser's point of view a good appraisal is within five percent of value um, so you know if we're if we're talking hundred fifty thousand dollar property five percent okay that's that's not too bad, but if we're talking a $600,000 property, 5% can vary a lot. Um, but just, just wanted to give you an idea uh, on that. Um, and th another thing to think about, probably the biggest holdup we have right now in today's market is appraisals. Uh, because there's so many refinancings going on out there, along with purchases, um, there's just not enough appraisers, especially good appraisers, to, to cover it all. Um, which by the way, good appraiser is really important in the deal, which is another reason to work with a local lender, not a national lender, because a local lender will kick out bad appraisers out of their systems. National lenders won't, frankly. They, they don't know who's good or bad. So work with local lenders. You'll probably save money anyways. Um, but the appraisal is taking uh, the, the longest part because the appraiser is just so backed up. I hear lots of people talk about maybe getting into real estate and talking. Typically, that involves maybe becoming an agent, which is great. Happy to answer those questions about that. But you, what you should really consider is maybe getting in on the appraiser side of it uh, because there's just a need for appraisers. So check into that if you want to. Also, I'd appreciate the likes and subscribes on the, on the videos and the channels. That's great support. Really helps me and YouTube pumps more stuff out there the more you do that. So I appreciate that. And the last thing to say about appraisals, if you're buying a home, Springfield, Nixa, Republic, Ozark, uh, Willard, Stratford, we, we can probably get an appraisal done within a reasonable amount of time frame. If you're wanting to buy more rural property, so, you know, Ash Grove, Buffalo, um, Elkland, all, all those properties that are on the, on the fringe or those areas that are more on the fringe, appraisers are a lot more specific, especially good appraisers, on the areas they work. Like an appraiser, because they have so much work, they're not going to drive an hour or an hour and a half for one appraisal when they've got a stack of appraisals that they need to get done. And most of those are within 20 minute drives. So it, it becomes a real problem trying to get an appraisal done on a rural property. When I mean rural, I, I do mean, you know, those small acreages and those types of things. Are very difficult to do which is another reason to work with a local lender because oftentimes they can know someone who can be helpful in that um, but appraisals are challenges right now just have patience talk to your agent get an idea of what to expect sometimes i talk way too many details i know uh, but I, i'd rather talk details and give an idea 
to people of what's possible rather than have surprises come up. And there's so many things in real estate um, to talk about. Um, so it's impossible to cover it all, but I try to cover as much as I can. I appreciate referrals and you guys trusting me to help you, by the way. If you have any questions, always happy to get together or just chat over a phone call. Have a great weekend. We'll talk to you later.